Look at this. We got us the next step up drill. Look at this thing, man. Uh, tank, the drill, trailer. Um, and I think there's another part that I'm not familiar with so much. Uh, it was th uh, almost $300,000 for this thing. So it has, it's a 20 by 22. And I don't know what that, uh, so 20 is, um, it's pu pushing strength and 22 is it's, um, pulling strength. So I don't know what the actual numbers mean, but we just got this today and there she goes. They're going to go uh, fill it up with water. Um, and then let's get it in the ground, see what it looks like. So we got to get that hitch fixed. So it's up a little higher, but not, not too bad. Um, so this is like all where all our equipment is and our conduit. We've, we've grown pretty rapidly here. Um, this is our, uh, our vacuum excavator. Um, pretty interesting. You can use this for test pitting. Uh, you can also use this. Um, it fits right onto a piece of conduit and, uh, it will suck through. I mean, it'll, it, if it's in that conduit and this can't suck it out, then you ain't getting it out probably. Um, pretty neat. So you can drill a hole in pavement and then use these. So let's say we, we cut a hole in the asphalt. We stick this thing down in there um, and it will just suck the dirt straight down until we get, we use this for test pitting sometimes. So if you need to test pit a gas line, it will suck down to it. Uh, this is our baby excavator that we just bought. Um, I don't know, maybe two months ago. Uh, it's just really, it's just the perfect size for what we do. We're not, we're not doing too much. We basically use the boom to pick up boxes and dig holes for boxes. Uh, and then, uh, Sometimes we're pulling cable. Um, this is our uh, vibratory plow. Looks like the plow, the blade's off right this second. Not sure why. Um, and uh, this is a pretty cool, this is like a walk beside unit. And it will trench um, on one side or it'll plow on the other side. I like the, the, uh, the plow. The plow is the coolest. Uh, this is our old uh, drill. Um, and so this is an eight by 12. So it is eight pushing strength and 12 pulling strength. So the other one is all um, is basically double. Uh, it's double the distance. It's double the strength. This drill, um, we got 300 foot of uh, rods here and the new drill, um, has five, uh, it has, up, it can do up to 600, but we only have 500 foot of rod. Um, and then this is the pump, uh, that goes with it. And this basically mixes a slurry based on the makeup of the dirt. Um, and then that pumps uh, all the way out to the drill head. Um, and it just basically is just spraying water out the drill head. Um, this is some of our uh, just weird uh, boxes. Um, oh, this is the, the, the blade um, for the plow. Uh, basically that razor blade goes down and right there, there's a pulling uh, attachment. Um, and then that pulling attachment, there's, yeah, and you can go a couple hundred feet. Ooh, look at this wolf spider. Let's see if we can wake him up. Whoa, boy. Yeah, he probably, probably can hurt you. I don't know. It would just make you pissed off. Um, yes, yeah, so we've got our small house boxes. We put these in. Um, we put these in when we're, as we're building. So if we just need to hook up a customer, we'll put this in the ground. And then when we're ready to expand, we come back, pick that box out, and put one of these big ones in. And that allows us to put a full size uh, A um, and B case in. Uh, this is a 96 count. We came uh, as a 20,000 foot reel that we got. So this is some of our like remnant conduit stuff. Um, we do this three quarter sometimes when we're doing drops to people's houses. Um, but what we're finding is that it doesn't really, you gotta constantly switch this and the other one out. Uh, so sometimes it's just as easy just to run a two inch, um, it's just old. It's how, many, how much conduit we've put in so far. Uh, I think each one of those is 4,000 feet, not a hundred percent. 
Um, there's 20,000 foot reel that we went through, 96. Uh, this is three inch. Um, so right now, every time we run underneath of a railroad crossing, uh, they spec, um, they spec that you have to put in three inch and uh, that's what we've been doing. So this three inch is only when we cross railroad tracks. Uh, our new drill can put in, it, when, when you push, you can attach three, three, uh, three two inch conduits and pull that back now. Uh, so we can actually pull three conduits at the same time as one. Uh, we don't do it, but we could do it, I guess. Um, there's some more empty reels. I guess we gotta figure out what to do with these, start cutting them down and scrapping them or something. Uh, this is our uh, other little plow. Um, something's wrong with it. it do, it's like a hydraulic issue. It works, but it doesn't have like enough pulling strength um, to really do damage like the ditch witch does. But maybe someday I can, well, just maybe I could take this to my house and figure out what's wrong with it. Uh, this is just some of our new, uh, brand new reel rolls do it um i think we've got i thought we had more than just two maybe i'm wrong i mean i guess we've been putting it in the ground pretty quick um this is our other truck um and it's got some a uh, little bit of conduit on here uh but oh kirk got this truck for uh five thousand dollars from the auction and uh that's pretty good i mean it it's got uh even came with a CB radio. So I'm gonna run back to my house and uh -oh. grab some uh, grab some water, and um, then we'll go. We'll, they gotta fill this thing up. It only takes a few minutes uh, to fill it up. Um, we hook on. Uh, we got a way to hook up to a pretty good source of water. It's fast, um, and uh, yeah, this looks like some little parts to the drill like the head to it but all right well, let's go see let's go see this thing in action let's go see what 300 grand can do for for you <laughs> 